The SmartBot system is an interactive bot that combines the traditional whiteboard with the power of the computer to deliver interactive lessons. With its touch functionality, it enables the user to write and erase objects as well as to control applications using a finger or marker. The SmartBot system is available in various libraries within NCU. Task 1. Write engineering psychology and then erase. Erasing method 1. Using the duster. Method 2. Using the clear ink function. With the first task of writing engineering psychology with one of the markers and then erasing the words, evaluators faced two problems. The first problem they faced was that the duster did not always successfully erase the words unless the marker is placed back into its slot. This is because the system operates via sensors and the erasing function only gets activated when all markers are in their slots and the duster is taken out of its slot. On several occasions, the duster did not work properly even when the markers were all placed back into their slots. This problem violates usability heuristics of match between the real world and the system, whereby it is more natural for users to continue holding the marker in their hands while picking up the duster to erase, as well as flexibility and efficiency, whereby having to put the marker down into the slot causes inconvenience to users. To address these violations, the system should allow the erasing function of the duster to work without users having to place the markers back into their slots. Task 2. Opening Microsoft Word Keyboard Method 1. Using the keyboard icon on the toolbar Method 2. Using the keyboard button The second task required the evaluators to open Microsoft Word and type a sentence using the SmartBot keyboard. The first problem evaluators faced was that they were unable to exit the writing function of the marker and access the clicking function unless they clicked on the close ink layer function which is on the pop-up menu. Evaluators also recalled that it was not intuitive for them to know that they have to first click on a cursor icon on the floating toolbar before accessing the other applications on the home screen. This violates the help and documentation heuristic whereby 
Many evaluators did the same actions repeatedly because they did not know how to proceed from the previous step. As such, perhaps the cursor icon on the floating toolbar could be made bigger and more salient. Additionally, there could also be prompts to provide users with information on how to proceed on to the next step, such as toggling between the marker and the cursor. Another problem faced by evaluators when carrying out the second task was that they were unable to access Microsoft Word even after the cursor icon was selected. This violates the heuristic of consistency and standards as evaluators are used to the cursor icon being able to click on the other applications, yet the system did not allow them to do so at times. To circumvent this violation, the system should allow users to access all other applications on the home screen once they select the cursor function. Add a new column to the toolbar and add three new functions to the second column. The third task required evaluators to add a column to the floating toolbar and add the magic pen, shape pen and creative pen to the new column. In task 3, evaluators often overlook the instructions for adding new functions to the toolbar as the instructions were too small. Double tapping was always the first method and dragging was only used after a few failed attempts to add the functions to the toolbar. This problem violates the heuristic of match between real world and system as evaluators were used to being able to select and add new functions via double clicking of their mouse. A simple way to make the instructions more prominent would be to increase the font size of the instructions and place it in a prominent position. To make the smart board more user friendly, users should also be able to add new functions to the toolbar by double tapping. Task 4. Draw a perfect circle using the shape pen function. Stamp a smiley chart using the creative pen function. To erase, use the clear ink function. Chop? Chop. Yeah, not, not you draw yourself. Oh, okay, okay. Chop once can you eat it? Yeah. Ah, shit. Ah. Cool. What the shit? Hey, come on, man. Your next screen press will be a right click. Damn it! <laughs> what are that? The fourth task required evaluators to draw a perfect circle and erase it. After that, they were asked to place a smiley face stamp on the screen. The first problem for task 4 was that users did not know that there was a tool for drawing shapes and they tried to draw the perfect circle by themselves. This problem violates the heuristic of help and documentation as users reflected that they were unsure of the functions of each tool and only managed to draw the perfect circle after several trial and errors. Most evaluators were able to execute the smiley face temp task easily as they discovered the smiley face function during their trial and error while drawing the perfect circle. One suggestion to improve this is to have a pop-up that appears when the cursor is on an icon to describe the function of each tool. The second problem for task 4 is that the erasing function does not work the same way for the shape pen. 
Shapes that are drawn with the shape pen cannot be erased by the eraser, and the evaluator showed bewilderment at not being able to erase the circle. After several unsuccessful tries, they managed to erase the circle using the clear ink option. Thus, this problem violates the heuristic of consistency and standards. To improve the system, the eraser should also be able to erase stuff that is written or drawn by the functional pens. Use the Restore Defaults button to restore toolbar to its default settings. On a scale of 1 to 7, with 1 being the least satisfied and 7 being the most satisfied, how satisfied were you when using the smart board? 5. Uh, 5. Yeah, quite, quite fun to play around with the pen. But very frustrating to know what the function is for. It's not very obvious what the function is for. And like, I want to clear the ink and it don't let me clear. Like, the song goes to another concern. 2. I think it's like it has really like um, backdated technology and like it's very hard to um, use the functions and like um, it's not very impressive. Like um, I think the firstly the sensitivity of the thing is a bit um, bad and uh, it's not like entirely user friendly or so. Thing six out of seven. I think it's because I never used a smartphone before, so I find it really smart. <laughs> Around three. The sensor is not sensitive enough. Like when I tried to erase, you couldn't really get off. <laughs> Four. It wasn't too bad. And also not very good. So around four. Which task do you find the easiest? I, th I think it's the typing one. The one where you have to type uh, a sentence on Microsoft Word. Oh, the typing is <laughs> what dog? Uh? The sentence one, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the keyboard. Yeah, because keyboard like tablet one. Then I uh, okay lah, I know how to use tablet. Oh, the typing. Writing. The uh, engineering psychology word. Yeah. Uh, the first one writing the engineering psychology. Writing. Writing as in. Using the pen, marker. Which task do you find the most difficult? I think it's the the one where you have to draw the circle, the perfect circle. The circle one. Wow. The, the erasing or the drawing or both? Both. Uh. <laughs> How do I know, man? Drawing the circle. Um, I think it was erasing the, um, the shape. Yeah, because it, it was not very easy to use just yeah, another tool. Erasing was difficult. Erasing the engineering psychology. Yep. Okay. Uh, every part lah. <laughs> involves erasing. Erasing. Okay, erasing the word or the just erasing in general. Everything. Would you use the smart board again in future? Mm, I don't mind. I think yes. Uh, no, because I'm graduating. Oh, we shouldn't okay. use this at all. I'm graduating in computer, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, if I got a chance, I'm, if I'm a year three student and I've got future projects, definitely. Why? <laughs> if there's a need to, I think, I think, I think, not bad lah. I think it, it can facilitate in most discussion lah. Okay. Then you can draw on the screen.